Well, it's not new that marijuana is being legalized in many parts of the world. In Colombia, medical grade weed is a growing business, but there's a lack of funding to cultivate an efficient value chain. Michelle Bega reports from Bogota. Javier Roberto Hidalgo was once literally a student of marijuana, taking courses on the cannabis plant and later giving seminars on the topic. So when Colombia passed legislation in 2016 to legalize medical marijuana use, Hidalgo didn't hesitate to enter the new industry. Not only can we take away that negative image, it might be possible to create a productive company with good salaries and good working conditions, then create a range of products that take away people's pain. In 2017, La Santa Botanicals was created with a mission to grow high-quality cannabis for medicinal purposes. With permits in hand, its founders began with a cannabis plantation and slowly ventured into building a pharmaceutical laboratory. The plant's components are used in a variety of products, from pain relievers for cancer patients to oils to curb seizures in epileptic patients. As global investment in the cannabis industry hits record highs, Colombia is getting a large slice of it. That's because Colombia enjoys a prime geographic position to produce quality plants and has a farming workforce already skilled in producing coffee and flowers. De los costos, la luz. On top of the low costs, the numerous hours of sunlight, the different altitudes and the climate, we have a qualified labor force. It is estimated that we are going to have a higher percentage of cannabis plantations than we do flowers. With many countries now allowing medical marijuana and countries like Canada and Uruguay leading the way on recreational use, the industry is growing fast. A new report by the market research firm Prohibition Partners suggests global legal marijuana revenues could top $100 billion by 2024. International interest in the industry says La Santa Botanicals was critical to get the company started. But while it has outside investment from Canada, it proudly touts it's a majority-owned Colombian company. And among its 60 employees, 85% are local farmers. But starting a company in an industry that was once illegal has its challenges. Los bancos. The banks are reluctant, like, wait, what do you mean marijuana? And I have also heard this from investors who are afraid of investing their money in this industry. Attorney Andres José Pajón, who specializes in the cannabis industry, says lawmakers did a good job back in 2016 covering all regulatory aspects of this emerging market. Everything is regulated. How to get permits to cultivate, how to get permits to make derivatives, how to get permits to commercialize and export, even to import seeds. I think it is one of the most complete legislations in the world, without loopholes. I think this gives investors peace of mind. And for companies like La Santa Botanicals, the direct foreign investment is needed for things like machinery to help extract the oils used in medicinal products. No, no, no nos we want to create products that will get to the drug stores to help solve real problems. La Santa says it's well on its way to getting there, especially with a new collaborative agreement at Colombia's National Cancer Institute. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogotá, Colombia.